Hi, I'm Dr. John. The following video is on a treatment called functional cranial release, or FCR. FCR is a neurologically based cranial release that addresses deep connective tissues that surround the brain and spinal cord. Because of the way that FCR is performed, it can drastically improve the way oxygen is both absorbed and circulating around your central nervous system. If you or someone that you know is suffering from a difficult neurologic condition that no one seems to have answers for, send them to functionalcranialrelease.com. I hope that you find what you're searching for. Thanks for joining me and enjoy the video. Chris, and I'm here because I have palatal myoclonus that was technically diagnosed from the NIH that I, it was a uh, psychogenic myoclonus, but I personally believe it came from a hit on the head because until that point, I was a totally normal person. Mm -hmm. and this happened uh, like three or two days before Halloween of 2010. Mm -hmm. And um, that's when it all started for me. So, hit my head on the lid of a car. I had an electric shock, jolt through my body. Never felt like nothing like that in my life. Station tube dysfunction eventually. That's when I started hearing popping and clicking. And they did some kind of ear pressure tests. And yeah. Many neurologists, many ENTs. What's that ontologist or whatever that thing was called? Otolaryngitis. Yeah, otolaryngitis. One of the top ones in Maryland, energy healers, cranial sacral, chiropractor. In fact, my chiropractor saw your video and encouraged me to come. Okay. He, he liked what he saw. Yeah. Yeah, he really did. And our chiropractor, in, where we live in Baltimore, is a pretty top dog. Yeah. So he had no idea who you were, but he just said he really was. He was like, you know, I think you want to go. Yeah. I was like, okay. Ultimately, my ears wouldn't stop popping and clicking. Okay, and something about that makes, when that happens, your your body puts on a defense. So, this is my conclusion. <laughs> and what happens is, is the muscles in your head are fighting, trying to resist that popping and click. So you have muscles pulling different directions, or nerves, or whatever's going on up there, mm -hmm. which to me is causing all the crazy misfires and weird feelings that I get and the, and the tightness and the head pressure that I'm getting is actually a struggle and a war every day inside your body that no one can see on the outside unless they know you have it or they can see your you know, suffering at some point. I think for each person from uh, you know, reading some other people's things that they have a little different but the, the biggest you know common denominator is the ear popping and clicking and the throat and the head pressure. That, for, for most, or probably for all, I think they all get that. Mm -hmm. And that's just, uh, it's, a, it's a tough task getting up every day doing it. it feel, you feel doomed. Mm -hmm. you, feel, uh, you, you feel like you're the only one out there, because people, without saying it, try to say, well, you know, maybe you're just going crazy. <laughs> and I'm not. I'm not going crazy at all. Yeah. I'm just not feeling right. right. That's driving me crazy. That you yeah. did with a patient, Heather, who uh, shared her experience mm -hmm. taking the big step coming here and doing this with you. Mm -hmm. Which instantly, when I watched it, I, I was like blown away. And um, I was, I mean, to be honest with you, by the middle of it, I had tears coming out of my eyes because I knew her pain, you know? And she had it for 20 some years. I'm like, I'm only dealing with this for a year and a half. I can imagine. Mm -hmm. Okay? I mean, it's hard to explain to someone from the outside who doesn't know what we feel, but. Whew, I know how it feels to feel normal, and I know how it feels to feel like this, mm -hmm. okay? And when I saw that video, you know, the first thing that naturally comes to my mind, too good to be true maybe, is it too good to be true? Okay, gotta be skeptical, you know, I've been bullshitted enough in my life, but something about this was too authentic, mm -hmm. you know? And um, so, of course I called my wife right away, had her watch it, she calls me up all excited, we gotta get there, we gotta get there. Like, well, hold on, hold on, let's find out a little bit more. So, you know? it's the fascia, it's that dura, that connective tissue. Okay, and what? See, I'm, not, I'm sorry, I don't know that, but whatever that is, great. So, <laughs> it so, it. But there's a tug of war, you feel a tug of war for, between your head and your throat. Yeah. And there's no muscles that directly go from there to your throat, but there's this dura that's a sheet that wraps around your, your brain, comes away to your eyes, the sinuses, and then it goes down into your spinal cord, like we talked about. I showed you the pictures right. of it. And so that's, that, that would have to be the case if this work is clearing the monoclonus. Like the 
Oh, it had just inflated up with air and... I feel like it's probably hitting it from two angles. I think it's probably scrambling that neurology <laughs> and augmenting those signals. And also it could be some structural stress that's taking off of the, the, <laughs> well, the, the midbrain. Or the you know the around the ponds where it's well, it's activating. That. When I first got it done, at first I was just overwhelmed with the procedure and how it felt. Couldn't mm -hmm. tell anything, couldn't feel anything, just didn't know. Just was in that phase. And then my buddy came with me and he drove behind me. And as I'm driving home, I felt some pressure release off my head that was incredible mm -hmm. that I've been dealing with all the time. And I started sticking my hands out the window and giving my thumbs up to him. And he's like beeping my horn at me, and I'm like. And I'm saying to myself, am I really feeling this? Am I really feeling this? Am I really, really feeling this? I'm like, yeah, I'm feeling this. <laughs> I really am feeling this. And I'm getting texts by her, and I don't want to tell anybody anything yet because I just want to wait until I get back to the condo, but it was real. Huge it's improvement in head pressure, which was, whew, I can't even begin to tell you, you know? And it lasted for most of the day. Well, prior to coming to Florida, uh, I had a lot of hope, and I'm the kind of person where, <laughs> I don't want to say that I, I'm certainly far from negative, but I'm not fooled easy, okay? I'm just not. So, uh, but for some reason, of, since I've been on my journey with this, <clears throat> I've been told different things, you know, maybe one day you wake up and just go away, or this and that and that, and it's like, okay, whatever. My body's told me something different. As much as I want to believe it, it just wasn't real. It wasn't a reality for me. When I first saw this, something, something deep within registered, it really did, and it just said, this could be real. I I'm feeling this. I mean, I feel it. It wasn't just me trying to talk myself into it. It wasn't me just trying to, you know, have false hope. I said, there's something about this that could be real. And I just kept doing more stuff and just watching it and watching it online and just, I watched Heather's video numerous of times and just really just, you know, got, went through it, really, you know? and. I just felt it, just felt it even before I got here. And when I got here, it just confirmed that it is absolutely real. You know, I hope it works for everybody that has this. And um, I may need more, I don't know, whatever, but so far from what I've gotten, I am, I'm driving on with a smile on my face. And uh, I've been able to enjoy this trip. Mm -hmm. I relax and <laughs> feel myself. What else can you ask for, really? Thanks for joining me, and remember, if someone that you know is suffering from a difficult neurologic condition, send them to FunctionalCranialRelease.com. You can email me at AskDrJL at gmail.com, or you can call my office. Remember, if healing is possible, consider it to be within your reach. Bye for now.